a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rossetti Wordsworth. Jenny and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising <laughs> sun. Story makers, story makers, <laughs> stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Oh, Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker here to make stories with you. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, just look at all these faces. Uh, the children in the library today were reading stories about different people and they drew pictures of themselves. Mm, look, there is a brown face with brown eyes and a pink face with brown eyes uh, and, and there is one with green eyes. Mm, but um, there aren't any green faces like mine. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, hello, Jackson. Um, oh. You look funny. Oh, Jelly, you weren't supposed to know it was me. I have disguised myself. I am wearing this coat and hat and these cool sunglasses. Oh, yes, it is a good disguise, Jackson. Yes. And I almost mm. didn't know it was you. Uh, <laughs> you, you oh. too. Oh, oh, it's, it's Rosetti's Rosetti. spaghetti. Yes. Oh, shall I disguise myself too? Uh, and then we can surprise her. Oh, oh yes, mm. that's a good idea, Jelly. Yes. See you at the dressing yes. up box. Yoo-hoo, Jelly and Jackson. Oh, where can my two furry friends be? I need them to help me make some stories. Um... Are you looking for someone? <laughs> well, yes, I was looking for my friends, my friends Jelly and Jackson. Yeah. Mm. They're supposed to help me make some stories. Oh, well, do not worry, nice lady. <laughs> I am Mr. Um, Furball, and I will help you. And my friend Teethy will help too. Mm. <laughs> well, your friend Teethy is uh, very green. Yes. Is she a frog? Um, no, no, she isn't a frog. She isn't very leapy. Mm. Oh, well, then perhaps she's a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. She is my pet <laughs> crocodile. She is very friendly <laughs> and she likes making stories. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, she'd better follow me to the story machine. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, what should we use for a story, Teethy? I'm sorry, I can't understand the word you're saying. Mm. It must be those teeth. Mm. <laughs> uh, Jelly, it's you! Oh, yes, thank you, Rosetti. <laughs> Shall we use them to make a story? Yes. <laughs> In you drop. Now we need some imagination. Will you help us? Yeah. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. <laughs> uh, what do you think it will be, Rosetti? Try and guess. Oh, it's a playbook. Oh, and it's called Open Wide. My dad is at work. See if you can guess what his job is. Belinda appears and tells me that my dad is ready to see me. This is my dad. He's wearing a white tunic for his job. My dad's a dentist. I get to sit in the special chair. It's a very special chair because it can move up and down all on its own. And my dad gives me a ride. <laughs> 
My dad then asks me to lie down on the chair. He pulls over a light. It's a light that switches on all by itself. Then my dad asks me to open wide so he can check my teeth. Thank you. And then? He uses a little mirror to get a better look at my teeth. E to E. He's very, very careful when he looks inside. My dad says that my teeth are looking great. Except for the one that's missing. Hmm. Next, Belinda puts a bib on me. And Mum passes me a toothbrush. Then, Belinda passes me a mirror. Dad shows me how to clean my teeth properly. For the bottom teeth, we push down and go around in little circles. For the top teeth, we push the brush up and go round in little circles as well. Then he asks me to rinse my mouth. I take a sip of the green water, then spit it into the bowl. Mmm, I like the taste of it. And Belinda gives me some tissues to wipe my mouth. The best part of coming to see my dad is that you get a treat after he's looked at your teeth. <laughs> Belinda gives me a balloon and a sticker because I have been very good. I say goodbye to my dad and tell him I'll see him at home. Oh, I love that story. The dentist chair went up and down. Yes. It looked fun, didn't it, Rossetti? It certainly did. Yes. What did you think, Mr Furball? Oh, Rossetti, I'm not really Mr Furball. No. Oh? No, no, it's a clever disguise. Look, it's me, Jackson. Oh, oh hello, Jackson. I didn't recognise you. Yes. You look very different in those sunglasses. Mm. <laughs> Do you know, I feel like looking a bit different too. Oh. Mm. Maybe there's something in my pocket. <gasps> oh. Mm. oh no, there isn't anything in there. No, there's nothing in that mm -hmm. one either. Oh, mm. oh no, you need to look in the corners. Oh. Uh. Oh. oh yes, here, look. One eyeglass. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, ooh, one big floppy moustache. <laughs> <laughs> and one... <laughs> <laughs> very smart mm. hat. Ah. Oh, I feel very important. Yeah. Mm. I feel like the uh, grand old Duke of York. <laughs> <laughs> but he had 10,000 men. Oh. I've only got two. Oh. oh, well, they'll have to do. <clears throat> Stand to attention. 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 We are going to march in the library. Right. Hmm. Why don't you join in too? Ready? <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. <laughs> Right. Oh, after all that marching, I think we're due for a story. Oh, right. Um, but what shall we put in the story machine? Sir! Sir! Leave it to me. <clears throat> I have a cunning plan. I'm going to put an order into the story machine. Right. Ha! <laughs> story machine, prepare to make a story. Good, good. Story maker, some imagination, if you please. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Off we go. Ha ha, lovely, lovely. It's a free bear story. Hmm, and it's called Grand Old Mr. Bossy Boots. There's a house in the woods that's cosy and neat where three furry creatures are waiting to eat. The porridge is ready. Hip, hip, hooray! But who will come for breakfast with the three bears today? Poor Father Bear. All he wanted was some peace in the morning to eat his breakfast. But who could that be knocking at the door? 
Baby Bear skipped over to answer it. If it's Goldilocks, tell her to come back later. She's a proper nuisance, said Father Bear. But it wasn't Goldilocks. It was a man with a long beard. Ah, hello, Bear. I am the Duke of York. But you can call me Sir. He marched into the kitchen. Right, lift, right, lift. What's this? No salutes? Tut, tut. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. The three bears all saluted. Now, I need three more soldiers for my army. Line up, please. Oh, oh goody. Mm -hmm. Giggled baby bear. Let's count you then. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four. Oh. Haven't I seen your face before, little bear? Back in line, please. Good try. Sorry. One, two, Hello. three, splendid. Oh, I want my porridge. Show us back, I... Father oh. Bear. Oh, I'll have no oh, slouching oh, in my army. Hmm. Oh, I've got an itch, said Mother Bear, twitching her nose. Ooh. Pause at your side, soldier. <laughs> I'll have no itchy twitching. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't he bossy? What? Mm. Silence! Oh. I'll have no whispering in the ranks. Oh. Now then, soldiers, present your spoons for inspection. Oh, Hmm. Oh. Gooey, yeah. ooey, and gloopy. Oh well, let's see what you're like at marching. Follow me, please. One, two, three, four. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had three marching bears. He marched them round the table legs and up and down the stairs. When they were up, they were up. We're up, sir. And when they were down, they were down. Oh, we're down, sir. And when they were only halfway up. Oh, I wish he'd make his mind up. Oh. They tumbled all the way down. I don't want to be a soldier anymore. I want my breakfast. Here, here, here. Mother Bear and Father Bear agreed. I'm the one that gives the orders around here. Ahem. Prepare to eat. But, uh... What can we eat? How about a bowl of porridge, sir? Grinned Father Bear. <laughs> yes, well said. Prepare to eat porridge. They all sat down to a porridgey feast, and Mother Bear added a special treat. It's crushed nuts today. Nuts! Yum, yum! Tuck in, everyone! <laughs> I liked that Three Bears story, but the Duke was very bossy, wasn't he? And, come here, mm. um, Rosetti was a tiny bit bossy too. <laughs> so uh, I crept off to paint a picture. Look, I've painted three faces. Do you know who they are? There's a pink face with sticky up hair and a green face with sticky outy hair Yes, and a brown face with lots and lots of curly hair. <laughs> it's me, Jelly and Rosetti. Did you guess? <laughs> now I'm going to show it to Rosetti and Jelly. <laughs> oh, I liked all that marching, Rosetti, but now my feet are a bit achy. All right, mm. soldier. Prepare to rest. Rest. Yes, sir. Hmm. Oh, that feels much better. <laughs> Jelly, Rosetti, look, I've painted our faces. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, Jackson, but be careful of that paintbrush or you really will paint our faces. Oh, dear, Rosetti, it's too late. <laughs> You're green like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I think it's time for a story and I know just what to put in the story machine. <laughs> <laughs> in you go, blobby paintbrush. Right, we need lots of imagination to make a story. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. I wonder what it's going to be. Can't really see. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yes, it's a blue cow story, and it's called Blue Cow and the Artist. Hmm. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. 
One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the faces of the other cows. I wonder what it would be like to have someone paint a picture of me. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can get my picture painted, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Italy. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was in a busy square, surrounded by beautiful buildings. There were artists everywhere, all painting pictures of people. All apart from one artist, who stood on his own with his brushes and canvas, looking sad. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. Ah, buongiorno, Bella. I am Leonardo the Stinky, the artist. But no one wanted me to paint that portrait. Why is that? asked Blue Cow. Then, as she walked closer to Leonardo, she realized why. Ooh, what a pong! Is that you, Leonardo? See, si, it is a me. I am a stinky by name, a stinky by nature. Ooh, well, you can paint my picture if you like, said Blue Cow. But, signorina, you are beautiful. I will not let you down. Please sit down here. So Blue Cow sat down and Leonardo the Stinky started to paint. Smile, please, for your painting, said Leonardo. Blue Cow tried to smile, but the smell was so bad she sort of half smiled. Soon the painting was finished and Leonardo the Stinky showed it to Blue Cow. I think this painting is my greatest piece of work. I will call it the Mona Lisa. Oh, thank you, Leonardo. It's lovely, said Blue Cow. As Leonardo passed the painting to Blue Cow, a smelly cheese sandwich fell out of his pocket and landed on the floor with a splat. Blue Cow sniffed it. Mooer, she said. It's not you who smells, Leonardo. It's your lunch. Ah, but these smelly cheese sandwiches are my favourite. Then they turned round to find a long queue of people looking at the picture of Blue Cow and wanting to be painted by the great Leonardo da Stinky. Oh, thank you, Blue Cow, said Leonardo as he picked up his brush and started painting. <laughs> I'm an artist like Mr. De Stinky. <laughs> Thank you for putting my painting on the board, Rosetti. Oh, our faces are very smiley, aren't they? Yes. yes. <gasps> but my real face is a bit yawny now. Well, that's because it's almost morning. Time for us to hide. Yes, the children will be here soon. Yes, I hope they like our faces on the board. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they will. <laughs> yes, my sweets. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Goodbye for now. Come back and see us soon. Come and make some more stories soon. <laughs> <laughs>